Hello, second grade families. In this video, we're going to show you how students uh, continue their work from first grade when working with addition within numbers to 20. Um, they use a couple of different strategies to review the work that they had done in first grade at the beginning of second grade. So we'll take you through those now. So the first um, review section is computation. So looking to solve straight math, uh, addition problems within 20 using efficient strategies. So we've moved away from drawing individual pictures and now we're trying to use strategies from first grade such as catching and counting on, looking for related facts. And so I'll demonstrate that here for you. So when looking at the problem 12 plus six, I might use the catching and count on strategy. So I'll grab 12, hold 12 in my head and count on six more. So 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18. And so my answer would be 18. So again, what I did was I caught 12 and I added six more. I used my fingers, which is totally appropriate at this level. Moving on to nine plus eight. Here, I might try to use a related fact. So a doubles fact that I know is nine plus nine. Nine plus nine is 18. Nine plus eight would be one less, and so 18 minus one would give me 17. Another way I could see it is if I wanted to use the eight facts and say eight plus eight was 16, I could add one more, and 16 plus one more is 17. So I could use eight plus eight and plus one, or I could use nine plus nine, which was 18, and then subtract one. Moving on to 10 plus five, I know that 10 and five more gives me a teen number from first grade, so 10 plus five more is 15. I could also use a 10 frame to support it, plus five more, which would also give me 15. Another example would be seven plus six. I can use the same related fact example that I did for nine plus eight. Seven plus seven is 14. Minus one would be 13. Or six plus six equals 12. Plus one more would give me 13. So these are some examples of how you could support computation at home for second graders. Moving on to the missing add -in component. Students see this at the beginning of second grade. This is a large part of our first grade curriculum. So just as a quick review, I might grab seven, hold it on in my head, and count on until I got to 11. So seven, eight, nine, 10, 11. My missing number would be one, two, three, four. So I would put four in here. Moving on to this example where the missing number comes at the beginning, I can also do the same thing. So I would grab nine and count on until I got to 14. So nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14. My missing number would be five because addition is commutative where it could switch back and forth. Now, if I come over to here, I see five plus what equals 10. I know that my doubles fact for five is five plus five. So I could use a related fact here. And then same thing down here, eight plus what equals 16? I know that eight plus eight equals 16, so I would consider using a related fact to solve for this. The last little bit of review from first grade that second graders see at the beginning of the year is a story problem. So looking for the keywords to help solve. Sam has seven cupcakes. Mia brings 10 more cupcakes. How many cupcakes are there all together? We teach the children to look for the numbers in the problem and to look for the keywords. So Sam has seven cupcakes. Mia brings 10 more, so 10 is the other number and more is the keyword. How many cupcakes are there all together? All together tells me that I have to add. So we have seven plus 10 more, and then considering a related fact, 10 and some more gives me a teen number, so seven plus 10 or 10 plus seven would give me 17. I could also draw out a picture to help me. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven plus, and then 10 more here. Continuing to draw pictures for story problems at this level is absolutely fine. While we are on the conversation of adding within 20, these are some items that you can use to help support kids at home. There are these flashcards that we can provide you from the school or you can certainly pick them up at the dollar store or at another educational store to help students with automaticity of their facts, learning them quickly. You can also use playing cards. You can play addition games. You can play comparing games uh, in terms of using these playing cards. And then we also have cards that look like this. These are our fact family cards. 
um, you could also find something like that at an educational store where you could purchase these for the kids. Uh, we hope this was helpful and have fun with math.